The next question has to do with uh, diet. Um, I treat a lot of patients who have inflammation in their hands, uh, people dealing with uh, arthritis, synovitis, uh, nerve entrapments, and, and whatnot. And um, I believe, uh, obviously, in medication, I believe in surgery, uh, but I also believe that uh, diet and nutrition um, are um, a very important aspect uh, that uh, most physicians do not take into consideration enough when it comes to treating people um, dealing with inflammation in their hands or in, in their extremities. So basically what I tell them is uh, that I would advise them to stay away from things that, and foods that are known to promote inflammation. For example, fried foods, um, sugar, um, refined sugars, so flour, um, bread, uh, any of those things I don't think should be refined. Um, I would advise them to stay away from alcohol as much as possible because it makes you swell, number one, and number two, it's acidic because of the sugar content. Um, and if, if, if people really want to drink alcohol, I advise that they you know, drink less or that they choose their wines better according to alcohol and sugar content. I would advise to take, um, to eat a lot of, of greens, you know, um, and to use supplements as well. I, I in fact, I, I recommend uh, a, a smoothie or juice uh, uh, created with uh, a juice extractor with, um, you know, kale, celery, cucumber, um, cauliflower, broccoli, basically anything green without a lot of sugar in it. And I would advise that they add to that uh, supplements like cayenne pepper, ginger, lemon juice, um, and turmeric that are known to be anti-inflammatory um, elements. And uh, if they need to sweeten it up, sweeten it up a little bit, uh, maybe just, uh, you know, uh, a, a, quarter, a quarter of an apple or a couple of strawberries or something like that. But I would recommend against a lot of fruit because a lot of fruit has a lot of sugar and that's not good when you have inflammation. So I, I'd advise them to take that daily. And then um, to, so stay away from certain foods. Make sure you eat lots of certain foods like nuts also. Um, anything that's rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory um, ingredients and then um, the, the the juice the smoothie every day um, I also recommend they stay away from dairy as much as they can um, including yogurt and, and cheese and if they want to substitute that with you know almond milk or another type of, of milk that I think that's better and to stay away from gluten also even if they're not gluten intolerant um, I've had many, many patients that I've treated for arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis or nerve entrapments or, and, and um, many people get really better when they do it. Um, so I think that's an important factor. I think we're all different and we'll all respond differently to foods, but I think this approach makes sense um, and it's been working quite well for me and my patients.